I've got stuff to sort out. Ain't as simple as just picking them up. Well, when will I know? All right, yeah, OK, yeah, thanks, thanks. Thanks for nothing. Hey. You look like a guy in the mood for an awkward but semi-sincere conversation with his mum. She's landed this big deal and she's heading to Mumbai later. Mum is? Yeah. Leaving for Mumbai tonight? Yeah. It's only for a few weeks. Well, and that is good news? Uh, no, it's just, well, I guess this is huge for Mum. Yeah, no, it is. And, and I get the feeling that she might want to share it with somebody. You want us to throw a party or something? <laughs> no. No, like, send a text or call her and say well done. Yeah, that's, that's fine. And, and maybe get Kira and Ash to do the same? I could probably convince Ash, but you're on your own with Kira. He's still not forgiving her, and I don't think he ever will. Hello? No, it's not good enough. I'm not getting a straight answer from anyone. You can't do that to me on the day of the party. I mean, what am I supposed to do with 15 five-year-olds? Oh, charming. You are looking up, love. All right. Where the hell have you been? I've got problems of my own. Sorry. Have you, have you got the grill fixed? It's been fixed. Right. Mum? That witch from the church hall has just cancelled Hope's party. Yes, I know. So what do I do now? You need a venue. Oh, my knight in shining armour. Look, it's not like she's going away for six months or anything. <clears throat> yeah, if she was, would you call her to say good luck? I'm too busy fixing your grill. <laughs> You know, it's usually the fuse, and I do have a box of spares. Well, you could have told me that before I started taking it apart. You know, you don't have to do the whole I forgive you speech. Just let her know you're proud of her and you hope she doesn't die on the plane. It's not that simple. It is. You've got the plug open, so just stick the new fuse in. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Just take it from someone who learned the hard way. If you let these family feuds go on too long, suddenly there's no way back. It's... My parents, they blame me for some stuff, and it was a mess, and we drew the battle lines. And weeks became months, became years, and now I actually don't know where they live anymore. I'm just saying that if you can picture a future at all with your mum in it, you need to reach out before she goes. Right? Yeah? Yeah. Cool. All right. We'll get in. You got it? Yeah. Hey, see? <laughs> oh, good. Fixed it? Yeah. 